kill him. But he was a liberator. He fought for his people. So Tupac believed in fighting for his people. And he loved his people. Wow. Now Charleston White saying that they gave him the state gave him permission to use the NIGGA acronyms and like Tupac people said nobody know what the Z stand for because Pac never clarified that. But never ignorant getting goals accomplished. Um, Tupac mama now Charleston White said he. For the black people, right? But you say that you want to have babies with Mexican women, a, a woman that's not black mm -hmm. because, and it was on y'all show. Mixed babies, I didn't want my baby having nappy nigga hair. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. I got to ask you about the um, Charleston White using the N-I-G-G-A uh, brand, Tupac's uh, brand, like, what um when you when you think about when you, when you think about how he uh pretty much uses that mm -hmm. what does what 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 do you think about it well first of all i want to shout this picture out with Pac on the wall Pac right there he's been on ever Pac, since i opened the stove Pac right there with a shout out to Pac and Myron Shakur. <laughs> first of all i'm gonna say this whatever because Pac got his name from uh, uh um a peruvian liberator i think the guy you have is from peru the original um tupac Amari is a, is a tribe of them. There's a lot of them named after that or whatever. And Tupac Mama named in that because she wanted to know not just black people went through a struggle, different people went through a struggle. And Tupac Amari was trying to liberate his people, but they killed him. They tied him up with horses to his arm and his legs, and they pulled him apart wow. to kill him. But he was a liberator. He fought for his people. So Tupac believed in fighting for his people, and he loved his people. Wow. Now, Charleston White saying that they gave him, the state gave him permission to use the NIGGA acronyms. And like Tupac, people said nobody know what the Z stand for because Pac never clarified that. But never ignorant getting goals accomplished. Um, Tupac Mama, now Charleston White said he... For the black people, right? But you say that you want to have babies with Mexican women, a, a woman that's not black mm -hmm. because, and it was on y'all show. Mixed babies, I didn't want my baby having nappy nigga hair. Cause we was taught that nappy hair was bad. All niggas I knew grew up putting S curls and, and, and shit on, and, and, and dukes on their hair. Uh, all the women I saw from the 80s on up, I remember it used to be shameful for black women to wear weave. Mm. They would sneak it in. You didn't know they had it. Uh, so yeah, I, I I wanted my children to have good hair. So I had mixed kids. Right. Because he felt like the hair gonna be nappy or coarse hair. Um, so he don't wanna have a baby with a, with a black woman because he don't want no nigga hair, he was saying. Tupac loved niggas, if you wanna say that. He loved black people. His mama was very, very dark. Mm -hmm. His sister set is very, very and dark skin. And she was for black folks. And his mama has a, a nose, wide nose, features, really African features or whatever. So for you to say that you don't like that, Tupac mama, when she left North Carolina, because that's she was born there, when she moved to New York, she wanted to be a cheerleader. Everybody teased her because her hair was coarse mm. and she wore her hair low. She was pro-black because she was a Black Panther. So she mm -hmm. loved black people and she loved herself. So for you to say you represent that and you tearing black women down, then one time he was saying, uh, a woman didn't want to give me no sex, so I, I forced myself on it and tried to eat her pussy and rape. You talking about raping people, but you talking about rap songs, talking about running trains on people, but you contradicting yourself. So that's a contradiction. You talking about the rap dudes, trying to train girls but you talking about a girl that won't let you have sex with her so you forced yourself on her that's wrong or whatever wow. so like Tupac said I wonder why we hate our women why we rape our women it's time to be real from a woman, I wonder why we take from our women why we rape our women do we hate our women Blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice so I hope that if he want to do that because Tupac I mean on um, stepdad Matula Shakur was definitely a dog guy too and he definitely loved black people too. And his hair was locked up or whatever too because he wanted to show his pride. So I just feel like for him to represent that and saying that he wouldn't, he don't, that's why he didn't want to have kids for a black woman because he didn't want to have no nigga hair. That's the crazy, like, like I don't really know what part of Pac inspired him. Pac inspired me and I would never say nothing like that. I would never look down on darker complected um, women because Dave's mom or daddy at the time probably didn't get raped by a slave master. I had that type of hair. Yeah. So I don't know. I just feel like that's crazy. And even when he still say, I think dudes should get locked up to go to jail. Young dudes, that's a better way to get it right. Every black guy don't got to go to jail. And a lot of times they go to jail, they be worse. Because yeah. they don't help them psychologically deal with what's going on with them or the trauma that they probably had in their life. Losing family members, being poor and being from the conditions that they come from. You feel like bring them from one, from out the firing pan into the fire and that's going to fix it. 
Like I just feel like you lead, he lead like a broke clock could be right two times out of the day. That's all I say. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.